Hi, Libra Nation. Okay, you guys, mid-June, romantic love. Let's take a looky-loo. Um, this is a message for the middle of June, obviously, sign of Libra, sun, rising, moon, Venus, Mercury, uh, Mars, or rising. It is a general message. You have to take it as it resonates for you. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. Subscribe and hit the bell. All my deets for private readings and to check out my other services. I am a facilitator of self-discovery for others and a light worker. Check it all out on my website. The link to that is down below. And we are going to do an extended because this could go somewhere, but we'll see. I'm going to explore it further in the extended. And the link to that will be at the top of the description below. Libra, this looks like arrested development. Something is starting to happen, but uh, we're putting on the brakes. I think that what I'm really seeing here is two people that really just need to communicate a little bit more directly and they'll both be really clear about what they want. Because um, here's what I'm seeing right now. What came out of my mermaid oracle deck, which I have not used in forever. I got this like four years ago. I used to use it a lot, but they wanted me to use it again. So fertility came out, potential, powerful creative energy, and initiation energy. So there's an initiation and something here potentially on the table. And we do have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Page of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely an initiation and a beginning happening here. There's also a wave of power happening between yourself and someone else right now. There's like a surge, there's an upswing in energy, and there's really exhilarating movement right now. So probably like fast paced communication, it's getting kind of sexy, it's getting kind of cute, and there's romantic potential. But then, er, we get a timeout card, awareness, contemplation, solitude, and time alone because we have the return of Aphrodite. The shadow self is dissipating and the higher self is returning. And Aphrodite is here. She sees herself as a temple. She births only goddesses. <laughs> um, your higher self is here to guide you. You might get good advice from someone this week. This is a goddess. Aphrodite is really a goddess of how you channel and use your energy and your emotional expressions of love. And she wants to be treated as sacred. Ooh, a drift is in reverse. Someone doesn't like feeling that way. The mirror is down here. Someone's done a lot of self-reflection. So this could be the feminine or the masculine really stepping in and saying, look, there's definitely something here. And I really feel the energy moving. But somebody's like, you know what? I need a minute. Like I need a hot minute, I need to contemplate, I need to be aware of how I feel. And the reason I'm doing this is because I carefully develop things and I treat myself as sacred. So feminines and masculines, or at least one of you is showing up really having a lot of self-respect. So pulling back and maybe slowing down the energy, because here's how the romance angels see it too. We have passion, allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy and attraction, which says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it's a passionate moment. The moments between you and this person will feel passionate mid-month. And you'll really want to stay in the present moment but there's this control issue going on. Allow this to unfold naturally. I have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I also see chemistry. This person may be a new friend. Somebody thinks they're pretty amazing. There's abundance. Okay, cool. Someone might have very good self-confidence and high self-esteem. So I think what I'm seeing here is what you're going to experience, maybe what you've experienced up until now with a, a new relationship, because it does look like a new relationship, or maybe just a new cycle within a relationship that's been ongoing is somebody might want to go on vacation and spend time alone together. And they might be saying, look, let's just stay in the moment. Let's just see where it goes. Let's just let it unfold. I'm feeling passion. And I want to bring that with me on vacation or time I spend alone with you having fun. You might be invited on a trip. I think that someone may ask you to come and stay with them for a while, but it's also possible or just come over to their place and hang out. 
Um, but it's also possible that very quickly on in this relationship, someone is asking the other person to immediately move in with them and live with them or something like that. Like someone just wants to kind of let it unfold and see what happens and where it goes. Let's be passionate, but not put a label on it because it's gaining momentum and it's super cool. But someone's like, eh, not really. Overall energy of the person coming towards you is the page of cups. The way they feel is the ace of swords. They see you as the four of wands, so someone they could have stability with or someone they want to spend time with. But what you need to know are your advice is the Ace of Cups. This is the beginning of something for both of you, the beginning of a new cycle or maybe a new relationship. And this person does want clarity. And I think that you are on the same page with that. And it is in a, you know, we're opening up here with the page and the Ace of Cups, but then all of a sudden that final outcome is the Nine of Wands. Someone's got their guard up a little bit. And the Page of Swords is here with the Two of Cups. Yeah, let's have a straightforward conversation. Let's have a really straightforward conversation where everybody gets their questions answered. Mm hmm. Lots of pages. It's very good. Strength is here. We're holding back. Ooh, someone's in their head. Yeah. Someone's like, yo, yo, that's a bit much. <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, uh, yeah, that's a, someone's a little, uh, yes. There's clearly, you know, like an arrest, arrested development here because with this page of cups, what's clarifying it is the moon and the nine of cups. Okay. Someone is a little bit dreamy. It is a little dreamy. It is a little instant gratification. It is wish fulfillment. But with the moon here, there's not a lot of clarity yet. There's a lot of untapped hidden potential, but a lot of confusing emotions. The moon with the nine of cups, eh, it almost feels like a drug. <laughs> so someone is attracted to you in this way, or you're feeling this attraction with someone else. It's like, could there be? Would it be? Would it? Could it be fun? Could it feel amazing? Nine of cups feels pretty amazing. Wish fulfillment in the moment. It's instant gratification. This person feels like the Ace of Swords, that you might be dealing with an air sign like yourself. It's like they want clarity. They want this breakthrough. Somebody knows what they want. The Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. This person speeds up energy. If you follow human design, you might be dealing with a manifesting generator or a manifester. Those people move fast, in particular MGs. You might be dealing with a Gemini or an Aries a strong Mercury placement, an aggressive Mars placement. These folks like to move quickly in relationships. Oh, let's be honest. We're frequently the Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Like, yeah, I know what I want. I'm feeling excited. Let's just see where this goes. Game on. What the hell, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune? That's a uh, Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Wands is like, let's fuck around and find out. <laughs> oh, and we don't need a helmet and we can go like 85 miles an hour. I definitely am seeing this person as kind of cute. They kind of want to go for it. And they see you as the Four of Wands, clarifying this as the Tower and the Empress. Whoa. Well, some of you might have just lost a home. Uh, watch out if if either one of you have suddenly lost a home because the Four of Wands is a stability, right? Um, and it can often be a domicile. And the tower is like something happening. We all know what the traditional tower in the tarot looks like. It's a building exploding and naked people falling out. And here you are. Oh, my. This is a rather subdued and uh, chillax looking empress. I honestly think that this is one of the best representations of Venus and the empress, which is Taurus or Libra, which I'm assuming is you. But the empress could potentially be someone else. Like that there's a separation from in some way, but it's like you're, I feel like you Libra are coming on the scene in this person's life, like boom, or there's this sudden change and shift in the stability of the relationship. Now, if this is an ongoing relationship, 
you are suddenly really sparking your partner's interest, Libra. They're feeling the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands all over again, which is sexy, passionate, wild, rebellious, open to love and exploration, wanting that instant gratification and, and wish fulfillment. So for some of you, your partner, the person in your energy has really seen a sudden shift in you. And that might be causing more or less stability. If it's a brand new relationship, they may want to move really, really quickly to get to that phase of the four of wands, which is there's a firm enough foundation in this relationship that we can now build upon it. That might involve spending a lot of time together, moving in together, stuff like that. This this could be um, talking about moving in together. I, but with that honeymoon card, it's, um, it might be like going on a vacation together for the first time or like you coming over for the weekend for the first time. Now with the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands, this it could probably lead to sex if it hasn't already. So there is that with this person. But what you need to know about them or your advice, take it as it resonates, listen to both, it might do you some good, is the Ace of Cups. There is an open heart chakra here. Open up your heart to this carefully, cautiously. As always, what am I always saying to you guys? Don't run with scissors. Don't run with scissors and don't wear rose tinted glasses. My God, <laughs> this, is, this is love we're talking about. So it is new love, but strength. You could be dealing with a Leo or the two of swords. Um, if you have Leo in your chart, watch for ego. Mm-hmm tame, raw desire, pride, possessiveness, all that. Mm -hmm. Have strength of character. Remember your morals. Also be compassionate. You might also need to make a decision between someone and a Leo. This might quite, quite literally be saying you have a choice to make. The choice is yours. Make an intellectual choice. Libra likes the two of swords because we're air signs. That's our energy. Think this through and be reserved. Is this really love? Then have some strength of character when you walk into this relationship. Leo is noble. Mm -hmm. And Leo is a fixed sign. And furthermore, they frequently want to be in a serious relationship. They're built for family and long-term relationships. Very much so. So there is a need to hold back. I love it how she's covering her breasts with the seashells. Like, oh, Suddenly someone's feeling modest. Suddenly someone is saying, you know, because uh, she's like, yeah, I'm into it. Knight of Wands energy. And the Two of Swords is, I mean, I might be into it, but like, I'm, I'm feeling a little shy. I'm feeling a little reserved. So there is a need to be reserved, okay? <laughs> or deal with a Leo, maybe. Um... Watch out for uh, being overly confident and cocky. Also with the Leo energy and the Knight of Wands. Good God, this is fire sign energy. And we all know that they're very passionate people. So we need to watch for that, right? Because, the, and I think that somebody is, because the Nine of Wands is here, which is a bit guarded and defensive. Suddenly boundaries are coming up. And the reason for that is the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Okay, we could have a younger person here as well with these knights. I could also be picking up on my, my younger viewers, 35 and under. So if that's the case, I hope this helps you guys as your tarot mom, but older people can be in the night energy too. And I think that maybe you're worried about being unrealistic or love bomby. Also, this person might be getting a little carried away. So watch out for idealism right now. I mean, the Knight of Cups is so sweet. It's the opposite of bitterness. But this night can be a bit of a dangerous night. Look at her. Her heart is guiding her. And that's not bad or wrong, but she's got to get her body and her brain involved too, right? Yes, you know this. We know this. But with this nine of swords, there's this anxiety. It's a difficult it's difficult to maybe be super romantic or worried about overly romanticizing something, worried about being too idealistic and immature. So the nine of wands totally makes sense. It's like let's not be crazy. 
Let's just be a little bit more clear. Someone needs more information. It's also possible that someone's just testing you and then they're gonna be reserved. Hmm. And yeah, somebody wants to visit just to disconnect and relax. There might be some obstacles ahead. Someone might drink a little too much. Maybe, maybe not. That didn't come out. I always look at the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. So maybe learning how to socialize without using too many substances or like trying to stay present in reality. Someone might also have an interesting work schedule where they maybe work nights or something like that because of the disconnected and relaxed. Like maybe you guys want to just get together and disconnect and relax, but you have to be on the same page about that. Again, ask the questions. Don't be so reserved that you're afraid to ask the, the questions, okay? Here's what this person's about to illuminate the situation. Seize the opportunity for intimacy. <laughs> yeah, the four-leaf clover, which is Sagittarius energy. Luck is on this person's side. <laughs> and they also think that you're a four-leaf clover. And they're like, yeah, Libra's a diamond in the rough. And I think maybe I'm pretty special too. And I do want to seize an opportunity for intimacy. So you do need to know that this person does want to be intimate. They're very passionate. They're very emotional. Mm -hmm. Also out of my uh, Oracle deck, adoration and idealization, I'll take care of you. Yeah, the night, the night of cups. Okay, this person has a caretaker archetype. That's not bad or wrong. They've just got to use it in a healthy, constructive way, right? I have a caretaker archetype too. I funnel it into my children, my partner, and my work at a healthy, normal pace with boundaries, right? So this person's got that archetype, but they may or may not take it too far. They also do um, enjoy the feelings of adoration and idealization. This is a phase, okay, in all relationships. We adore and idealize. I mean, shit, I've been with my own partner a long time, and I still go through that phase, we do, we do have these moments, but we do need to keep them in their place. But this is what you need to know about this person. And they do want to seize an opportunity for intimacy. They may want you to come and visit. You may go to a place to visit. And here's what they're doing. They're the Knight of Cups. They see themselves as the Eight of Wands. The, oh my God, fire energy. Oh, Sagittarius energy. Also very Aryan. Aries has two speeds in the beginning of a relationship. Stopped and like 90 miles an hour. And we do have the fool as their feelings and the Knight of Cups. Oh my God, this person is so cute. <laughs> They're a little bit of a ding-a-ling. Um, they're adorable, actually. So romantic, so sweet. Total goofball Aries Pisces energy combined. Jesus Christ, that's so adorable. Not 100% committal though. But frankly, if it's the beginning of the relationship, it's not, maybe it's not quite time for intimacy or commitment yet. If this is a new cycle, wow, are they going to send you a lot of flowery texts. Yes, very romantic. Very, very. And I wanted to know what the Knight of Cups was um, really, that's a grand sweeping gesture. The gesture is the Ace of Swords. I know exactly what I want. The Four of Wands. I want to spend time with you. I want to experience this foundational feeling of a relationship. Could be moving in together. Could be spending the night. Could be spending time together. Seven of Pentacles. Le sigh. I'm waiting. Again, watch out for a person that's telling you that they're going to take care of you because they know that you want to be pampered when the truth is like they don't have a place to live. Like for real, you guys. <laughs> um, but so far, like this person might really do it for you because the Empress does love to, I mean, this is Libra and Taurus. Love me, worship me, adore me, feed me grapes. Let me be a princess. Oh, we love this feeling as Libras, do we not? I do. I openly admit it that I do. But at the same time, the Empress as Libra, man or woman, is very nurturing. 
We're very nurturing to people in relationships. We have it in us to be that way. We're not nearly as romantic as people think we are because we're air signs, but we are very nurturing, very creative. And, and we love these beginning phases. It's like a baby growing. Oh my gosh, the Libra Empress loves this. It's also possible that this person just went through a breakup and they're hesitating. This might be like, a common cycle for them. It's not bad or wrong, but we don't want to live in here all the time. So that's the holdup on their end and on your end. I like where you're going to Libra. I'm loving this. I'm loving the whole reading. I really am. This made me happy. You're willing to take a risk. You have a lot of hopes and wishes for a life partner. Okay, number one, you really got to make that clear to this person. Like if you're doing strength in the two of swords, which is, oh, I'm not really, really ready to show you my private parts here. And um, I feel the need to hold back and be reserved. If they're doing that or you're doing that, you know, just make it clear that there's no need to rush. Maybe this knight of wands can turn down to a slow trot. Maybe turn that knight of wands in the, into the knight of pentacles. Let's, let's. Let's be practical, maybe, you know, and also make it very clear to them that this is what you're looking for. You hope for that life partner. You want to put your picture in their picture in that locket. I want that for you. I also liked this. Hook up, not even interested. Fuck yes. I mean, if you're, if you only want to hook up and you're not interested in anything more serious, again, make that very clear. If you're not interested in a hookup and you want a life partner, like that needs to be made very clear. This person has thrown the Ace of Swords twice. I think you can be straight with them. I, I think that you can. They're, they're a lot here with the Fool and these Knights, but um, they do want clarity. They do like clarity. I can see that. It's up to you to make it clear. Now you're at a big ass crossroads here <laughs> about what to develop and how to develop it. Some of you are trying something new in your relationship or your dating routine. Maybe it's a time to call upon a little bit of knowledge that you've recently learned. There is an opportunity to practically apply knowledge and grow and learn. And your action towards them is the knight of, is the, not the knight of wands, is the two of wands, which is I like you, you like me, let's see where it goes. But just know that you're not my only choice. I am looking for something with growth potential and I happen to love passion. Thank you very much. Two of wands is always looking for the ace of wands. I, and I like this for you too. I wanted to know what was underneath that two of wands. And I have the hermit, the queen of cups and the lovers, Virgo and Gemini energy here. So for my feminines, you have two guides right now. Okay. And masculines, you have two guides. You both have two men and women alike have two guides. One is your wisdom. It's Virgo energy. This is the part of you that's all the way a grown up that has taken every lesson you've learned in love and turned it into wisdom. And now you practically apply that knowledge and it helps you make good choices. This hermit is right behind you. For my feminines, you're embodying the queen of cups who's very emotionally intelligent. She's calm and emotionally stable and she's emotionally intuitive. Look at her in this deck, she's pregnant. She senses the life inside of her. She senses the development. She's not chasing anyone. You know, King and Queen of Cups are, look, I wear my heart on my sleeve, but I'm not a doormat. I'm very loving and compassionate. I'm here when you're ready, but I'm not gonna chase you. And I'm not a crazy girl or a crazy guy. And furthermore, I'm looking for total value alignment and a match made in heaven. That's what the lovers teaches us. Do I have choices? Yes, I do. Yes, she does. She's looking for true alignment. And in the traditional tarot, in the Rider Waite deck, it's actually an angel pushing two people together, right? I know a lot of you have heard me talk about that. It's a little different in Sarah Marchetti's deck here, but I mean, that's Mars and Venus. Whoo, Mars and Venus. <laughs> yes. And I feel like you're trying to make a smart choice. 
and gentlemen, you can be in the energy of the Queen of Cups too, because a queen archetype is creating an environment, okay? And I can see here, Libra, unless you're, I mean, you may have a choice between this person and somebody else, and that Queen of Cups or that Hermit or the Lovers could be someone else, but these are archetypes. Like, these are all guides, you guys. I feel as though you have three strong guides guiding you to make a really smart choice for yourself. I also think you want to open up to passion. There's a little bit of a polarizing energy here for you, though, between the hermit and the lovers, because these two are going for it. And this guy's walking by himself in the desert. So work out like for yourself how close you want to get to this person. Some of you do have Virgo maybe in a close planet and it makes you a bit reserved. You need to take your time. And also a part, like with Gemini, with the lovers, Geminis are known for kind of hopping into a relationship or a sexual connection pretty quickly, but not all the time. Um, they're considered the divine matchmakers of the Zodiac, believe it or not. And they're really good at assessing for like true potential in a partnership. And it's like really opening up to passion, really opening up to a true match. And I feel like judgment is also the angel of the divine going, yo, yo, <laughs> yo, remember, remember how we remember what you just learned, right? Remember. It's time to practically apply the knowledge to help you pick the path towards the person that's worth taking a risk on to find a life partner. This could really go somewhere. And whoever slowed it down, right? Like whoever arrested the development and said time out, it's because somebody has standards, and I'm hoping that's you. I'm hoping it's the both of you. Let's find out in the uh, extended reading. Because I like what I see in this person for you so far, Libra. But I would like to kind of find out where this is going to go for you. If you feel like you would like to get a little bit of advice about that too, definitely check out the extended. It's at the top of the de uh, description below. But that is what's happening in love for you right now, Libra, a necessary time out. Keep in mind that it's not necessarily romantic love. It could be a creative endeavor. It could be a career path. It could be a different kind of relationship. There is a chance to explore here, okay? So keep that in mind. Take it as it resonates. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra. Take care. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.